Hey everybody, welcome to Kick and Crochet. Um, it is morning, which is my bedtime, so I'm super duper tired, but I wanted to share a few things with you before I go to bed. So um, you may have seen that I just re-released the Men's Thermal Fingerless Gloves pattern. Um, it's one of my favorite patterns that I designed way back in 2015, but it was definitely due for an upgrade. So I upgraded that, upgraded, updated, whatever, added more sizes, and I simplified the fingers, and I added a video for those. So in light of re-releasing that pattern, I decided to do a roundup of a whole bunch of crochet glove patterns. So I've got 41 for you. Um, I've actually designed a whole bunch of glove patterns. They're really fun to design, so I included a, a few of mine in there, but these are mostly from other designers. So, um, there's also, I'd say probably two thirds of them are free patterns and they really range from like super beginner up to like an intermediate advanced. So there's something for everybody. You've got men's, mostly women's, and then a few that also have children's patterns. So let's check them out. Okay. So this is the first one. This one again is the men's thermal fingerless gloves that I just released. So this one is on my blog. It's not a free pattern. It's I think I put it as five dollars and fifty cents. So uh, it's got thermal stitch, which is super warm, and individual finger holes, which is pretty cool, I think. Anyway, but I'm biased because it's obviously my pattern. All right, next up, we've got these easy crochet fingerless gloves from Simply Hooked by Janet, and this is a free pattern. Oh. And I forgot to mention that there is a link in the description that goes to my blog where you can get links to each of these patterns. Also, all of the images were used with permission from the designers. So, you know, that's good. Okay, so this one is pretty simple. It uses a little bit thicker yarn, so it would work up super fast. And I love the texture of that stitch. Super cute. All right, next up, Madsen Mittens from Through the Loop Yarn Craft. Uh, that high G yarn, right? Super like fuzzy. I, I can't decide if the fuzzy would feel good or if it would start to bother me, but if you like fuzzy, these might be right up your alley. This one also is a free pattern. Okay, next up, we have got the Autumn Crunch Fingerless Gloves from Pine Tree Crochet. This is another free pattern, and this one I think had a matching cowl pattern, so you can kind of do the set. Um, <clears throat> Moving right along, these ones are fun. The Glacier Ridge Fingerless Gloves has the paid pattern from Simply Melanie Jane. These ones are $4. Faux fur gives it kind of a fun feminine flair. How many F words? Only good F words can I fit in that sentence. Fun feminine faux fur flair. Hey, there we go. Okay, so again, that's the Glacier Ridge Fingerless Gloves from Simply Mel Melanie Jane. All right, I absolutely love the texture on these gloves. These are the Pemba Mittens. It's a free pattern from Banana Moon Studio. And I had never actually heard of Banana Moon Studio, but I definitely am gonna have to check her out because these gloves are super cute. Okay, moving right along, the Ashley Mitts from Frankie Kate. And if I remember right, this one also is part of a set, so if you yeah there's another there's a scarf and a hat in the set but it is not a free pattern it's four dollars from frankie kate another designer that i hadn't heard of before but she's got some interesting things these ones are super unique uh just texture and color work they're not like any gloves that i've seen before so totally different but still cool moving right along we've got the susan wrist warmers crochet pattern this one is a free pattern from Sunflower Cottage Crochet. Um, if you've been following for a while, then you might remember the friendship blanket that I participated in. It was a big blanket crochet along, not last year, maybe beginning of last year. Um, and that was when the Synergy Square was published. So um, Sunflower Cottage Crochet hosted that and she also designed these wrist warmers. Um, super cute and free, can't beat that. All right, moving right along, we've got Dragon Scale Gloves from Shelby Shea. These ones are $5. I feel like Dragon Scale Gloves were like a big thing for a while, and so there are actually quite a few different patterns for Dragon Scale Gloves, but I really like these ones. Um, I like the detailing on the on the arm side of them, and it doesn't. it's not like overwhelming in the crocodile stitch arena. So these ones are totally a winner. Uh, $5 from Shelby Shea. All right, we've got Into the Sunset Mittens. These ones are a pretty 
like basic, I would say pretty beginner friendly mitten pattern um, from the Loopy Lamb uh, free pattern. All right, that's already what, 10 patterns? There's so many, so many glove patterns, okay. Uh, this is another one for me. These are the Stella fingerless gloves. They feature the star stitch. Um, this one also is part of a set. There's a scarf and a hat that go along with it. Um, this one, the size small glove is free on my blog. The other ones are part of the paid PDF option. All right, I love the little button detail on these. These are just called fingerless gloves from Made with a Twist. Uh, these are a paid pattern, $5 on Etsy. Gotta love that button. All right, moving right along. Cute and cozy free mittens from Hooked on Patterns. Actually, these ones do look both cute and cozy. Um, I like that they're not like gappy or holy. I, unless you're going for like fashion fingerless gloves or something, like I don't want air to get in and freeze my hands. So these ones look like they will not be a problem on that and also free. Okay. We've got the Tabby Star Crochet Mittens from Stardust Gold Crochet. Uh, love the flaps. I think I only have one mitt fingerless glove pattern that I've designed with flaps so far, but they're super useful because, um, you know, your fingers get cold sometimes. <laughs> I'm always a little tempted, like, do you want a thumb flap or do you not want a thumb flap? I can't even decide, and so I usually just do a finger flap, but these ones are super cute. I love the little buttons. Uh, this is a free pattern from Stardust Gold Crochet. Moving right along, in the groove fingerless gloves from Ned and Mimi. Um, Ned and Mimi is one of my favorite designers. I don't know if you've looked at their stuff, but it's always quality. So these ones are no exception. Love the ridged look, super cute, and also free. Okay, Hygie Aero Gloves from Rafa Musa Designs. So this is using that same, like, softy fuzzy yarn but it doesn't seem quite as fuzzy or maybe it doesn't use the hygie yarn but it's just called hygie i don't actually remember i also actually really like the matching head warmer i'm not a big like ear warmer head band kind of person but that one's super cute so that's cool all right these ones are just called men's mittens by blue star crochet and it is the only interlocking crochet design you guys know i like interlocking so had to include at least one interlocking design in here so that is pretty cool uh that's free free pattern from blue star crochet okay we've got these are the grace fingerless gloves from flow's crafty crochet uh they are i wrote down four dollars and 26 cents it was in, I think, British pounds, and so that's the translation to US dollars. So, you know, depending on the exchange rate, that might change a little bit. But this one is available on Ravelry. Okay, Stripes Interrupted Fingerless Gloves. And I'm a little bit too emb embarrassed to admit how long it took me to figure out how the stripes were interrupted. Like, obviously, those colors, like, overlap. Like, the orange interrupts the gray stripe and the gray interrupts the orange stripe like super obvious but i just thought the name made no sense at first i take it back it makes sense anyway these are the stripes interrupted fingerless gloves from hooked on light hooked for life they are a free pattern online all right we've got the oh so cozy fingerless gloves from caraway crochet this one's one of the few that uses a bulkier weight yarn so if you like bulky weight, but it's not super gappy still, so I think it looks like it works pretty well. Uh, that one's free from Caraway Crochet. Here's another one of mine. Um, here's the Oliver Men's Fingerless Gloves, and not much to say about those. Those are kind of fun. All right, these ones are super cute. These are the Puppeteer Gloves by At Crochet. Again, I probably also always butcher her name, but she's actually wearing two pair of them overlapping each other. So I think this pattern includes like the shorter version and the longer version. And this is one of the few ones that actually does include separate fingers. So if that's a thing that you appreciate, then there you go. So these ones are super cute and they are available in English and French. So if you speak French, there you go. All right, cabled fingerless gloves, a free pattern from I Love Knots. I love that it, I love, huh? uh, that it includes a longer version and a shorter version. I personally really like the longer version. I feel like when you get the shorter version, like I really want a thumb 
to come up higher. But for the longer version, I think it looks really nice. All right, and this is the Jindabine, whether or not I pronounced that correctly, I have no idea. Fingerless Mitts from Emma Wilkinson. Again, exchange rates put this at $4.14 in US dollars. Um, this is the only Tunisian crochet pattern that I have in the set. I actually really like the combination of Tunisian stitches she put on here, so super cute. And also she has a bunny. Like, how can you not love these gloves because they're holding a bunny? Anyway, maybe that's just me. All right. Slip stitch mittens, a free pattern from Joy of Motion Crochet. The slip stitch is going to make it so that these ones, again, don't let a lot of wind through. So if that's something that bothers you, this one might be a way to go. It does also mean that they are going to take longer to make. And if you have trouble with tension on slip stitch, this one might not be the one for you. So kind of a trade off. You're going to get thicker, warmer, less gappy gloves, but they're going to take longer and maybe be a little bit harder on your wrist. All right. Uh, fuzzy, fuzzy, fuzzy. Snow Queen Mittens. These ones are free pattern from This Pixie Crochets. Super soft and fuzzy. Okay. Rails Mitts. Free pattern from Rebecca Velasquez. Um, I love the texture on these ones. It's super cute. Excuse me. All right, polka dot mittens from Green Fox Farms Designs. She actually has a couple different patterns for gloves that I noticed. This one is a paid pattern, $6. And if I remember right, I think it came, yeah, this one's up from toddler all the way to adult sizes. So you could do like a kid and mom matching set or whatever. So that's nice. All right, moving right along. Okay, this is the Chevron Peaks Mittens from A Crocheted Simplicity. This is a free pattern online and I love the texture in there, but it also still is pretty thick and warm looking, so that could be a winner. You know, in all of these patterns, I didn't actually find a lot of actual fingered gloves. I don't think I have any in the set. However, if you take one of the fingerless gloves patterns that has individual finger holes, it would be super easy to make those into fingered gloves. I personally never designed fingered gloves because I feel like people's finger lengths vary so much that I'd never want to tell you how long to make your fingers. Um, so you could definitely turn some of these into fingered gloves if you wanted to. Okay, moving on. These are the Venita Mint Mitts, also a free pattern from Banana Moon Studio. Uh, this one's a pretty simple design um, and it has a toddler version as well or a child version as well. So again, you could do the child or the adult. Oh, this one is another one of mine. This is the braided rose fingerless gloves. If you're like me, then you have a tendency to buy way too much like indie dyer yarn. And whenever I buy indie dyed yarn, I always end up buying fingering weight because I'm always like, well, I get 400 yards of it this way, but then I have a ton of fingering weight yarn and nothing to do with it. So these ones use fingering and they also have a matching cowl and hat. All right, these are fun. These are the Amabella mitts from Frankie Kate. This is a $3 pattern. And ooh, let me look. This one is also part of a set. It has a matching hat, at least. Uh, this one's $3 online. And I love the different textures, how it varies in there. So it's not just kind of uniform. It's fun. This picture kind of messes with my head, but the gloves themselves are pretty <laughs> fun. All right, these are men's wrist warmers, a free pattern from Sunflower Cottage Crochet. Good texture on there, ruby cuff. All right, another star stitch fingerless glove. These ones are from Rafa Musa Designs, and these ones are a little bit different than the other ones I posted. They just use star stitch around like the upper part of your hand, but still super cute. Um, love the texture on there. And it look, I don't know if she sells the hat as like a set or if she just happens to have a hat the same color. So maybe there's a set there. I didn't have notes about it. Um, anyway, so that was free from Rafa, Mus Rafa Musa Designs. Whether or not I'm pronouncing that correctly, I don't know. All right, another free one from I Love Knots. These are lacy fingerless gloves. Spring is coming, my friends, even though it was freezing today. And it actually snowed a little bit last night while I was at work which was actually kind of nice because it was super pretty to watch it on the security cameras. 
Anyway, so if you want something springy, this one is totally that pattern. All right. This one is the Step in Line gloves, also from Emma Wilkinson. I love Emma, Emma Wilkinson's designs. They're just always fantastic. This one, again, after converting the US dollars, it's about $3. I think it came out to like $3.01. Um, when I first saw this picture, I thought that her stripey shirt was part of the glove pattern and I actually was totally digging it, but it's not. It's a stripey shirt and then the orange cuff of the glove. I still think the gloves are super cute and I always appreciate when designers include an actual thumb because your thumb, like when you have it come way down to here, like your thumb is just sticking out there. I don't know, maybe that's just me. Okay, going on, we've got some bulky weight mittens here. These are easy crochet mittens from Joy of Motion Crochet. Super, super easy. This pattern would work up so fast. Okay, houndstooth mittens, free crochet pattern from a crocheted simplicity. This one, she does include a chart for doing that houndstooth pattern so you will have to do some color work if your color work's not your thing these are not the ones for you but I actually love that houndstooth pattern and I think it actually works pretty well coming up to the tip of the mittens so I like how she did that all right we're almost done these are the ice cap fingerless gloves these are $3.99 from straight hooked crochet or just straighthooked.com whatever um, I do love the texture on these stitches um does you kind of do see some gapping in the thumb but coming into spring that's not really such a big deal uh so i think these are super cute all right these ones are one of the easiest pair of gloves that are in the set but they still actually look kind of sophisticated and i really think that's just because she chose velvet yarn for it so if you're a beginner but you want some fingerless gloves definitely this pattern it's easy crochet fingerless gloves and it is free for my crochet space totally worth giving a try for a beginner and finally this is the last one for me these are the kate fingerless gloves a little bit of shells a little bit of lace worsted weight and that is it what am i doing pressing the wrong buttons well i guess short keys start, stopped working. So funny story, a while ago I was trying to learn how to do the Dvorak keyboard layout just for fun and so every now and then I accidentally switch my keyboard to Dvorak and I don't remember how to type Dvorak because I stopped doing that like three years ago. Um, so I think I might have just switched my keyboard to Dvorak which is why my hotkeys are not working. Isn't that crazy? Anyway so I hope that you found some glove patterns to try and I'd love to hear what was your favorite. Let me know in the comments which one of those gloves you loved, hated, actually not hated, I don't want to talk, let's not talk bad, just tell me the ones you loved um, and also what do you think about fingerless? Have you ever made fingerless gloves? What's the big deal? Okay, happy crocheting!